Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. How are you all? Um, I hope you're all doing well in your good situation, especially if there's any Filipino here who are in Hong Kong, especially those Filipinos working in Hong Kong. I hope na nasa maayos po kayong kalagayan and you are safe. If there's anything that we can do to help, comment down below. Today's update, let's start with Balik Bayans, especially former Filipinos, no? Filipinos who have been naturalized as foreign citizens abroad. One Filipina shared her story, former Filipino, according to her. Ay, I successfully landed in the Philippines, wala akong insurance. Kaya guys, hindi nyo kailangan ng insurance, according to her. Um, I would refrain you guys to listen to that because in the IATF resolution 160 b it clearly states there that for all foreign nationals including balikbayans former filipinos need po ng insurance ang hindi nyo po kailangan ang difference nyo po sa foreign tourists ay hindi nyo kailangan ng return ticket okay po yung insurance lang po yung kailangan we have kababayans former filipinos who did not have insurance pero uh, hinanapan they were their airlines looked for that requirement and the airline would not issue their boarding pass without it no some had to purchase insurance at the airport so you know avoid hassle lang follow lang po tayo so that we can enter the philippines smoothly just like the 24,000 inbound tourist arrivals who entered the Philippines from February 10 to 20. This was reported by IATF, no? More than oh, half na, half more than half of that are foreign tourists while 45% are balik bayans. Majority, how well, majority are from the US. Yes, they were able to enter because they followed what was required, no? Follow na lang po tayo. For the travel insurance guys, just a reminder that it should have a COVID-19 coverage of at least 35,000 US dollars. At least. So if you have 50,000, 1 million coverage, nako, that's all good. Yun lang po. And if you guys have any recommendations for insurance, please comment down below. Especially if you have good experiences with them. I may make a compilation of good insurances that we can recommend to fellow Kababayans and foreign tourists. For how long? IATF resolution says it should cover your whole duration in the Philippines. Um, you can secure guys kahit 30 days na travel insurance. Although anyways, hindi naman po kayo hahanapan ng return ticket ng immigration at ng airline because you are exempted from that 30 days return ticket. In line with this, let's do a quick recap of all the travel requirements that you need. So I made this table, no, like uh, for Filipino citizens and dual Filipino citizens, balik bayans, foreign tourists, and then uh, nine A visa holders and other types of visas. For the negative test result, RT-PCR taken 48 hours before departure, it's required for all regardless of nationality or visa. Everyone must have it. Um, exempted are children who are three years old and younger. Well, for the proof of vaccination, only Filipinos are exempted from that. So, unvaccinated na mga Filipino citizens can come home, but they will quarantine upon arrival. But foreign nationals who are 12 years old and older, they need to be fully vaxxed. How about Cebu, Jennifer? We don't have news yet. They will start their un accepting unvaccinated tourists March 1. Let's see if that actually materializes. Let's move forward with a passport. The passport should be at least six months valid at the time of entry in the Philippines. Filipinos are exempted from that rule, but foreign nationals need to have a passport that should be more than six months upon arrival in the country. You cannot have a passport that it's near expiration if you're a foreign national. Then a visa, nobody needs visa except visa required nationals. The insurance, Foreign nationals entering visa-free need it. Exit ticket of not more than 30 days since arrival. This one, guys, you can get a rent a ticket at onwardticket.com. If I'm correct, I'll, I'll put it here. Um, yeah, This one is very cheap. Another option, a throwaway ticket, Singa Manila to Singapore with Cebu Pacific or Jetstar. Next is a one half pass QR code. This is for everyone regardless of age. I hope that is clear. Now, just a reminder that for Balik Bayans po, if you're traveling with your foreign in-laws, 
fiancés, boyfriends, or girlfriends, they are not covered by the balikbayan privilege. Thus, they need also the return ticket ha, or exit, exit ticket. Hindi sila covered ng balikbayan privilege. I made this detailed video guide for balikbayans. If you want to check this out, I explained everything about balikbayan privilege here. Let's talk about Bureau of Immigration Advisory press release. It's nothing new, it's just a confirmation of the IATF resolution that immediate families of Filipinos from visa-required countries, so parents, children, spouse of Filipinos from visa-required countries may apply for a 9A visa without the need for an entry exemption, an EED. So let's say an Indian or a Pakistani is married to a Filipino who is here in the Philippines, they can apply for a visa. No need for EED. Unfortunately, visa required nationals, tourists who are not married to Filipinos, who don't have Filipino children in the Philippines, just tourists, or even those with girlfriends or fiancés in the Philippines, they are considered tourists and they are visa required nationals. It's still very sad that you still need the EED which really makes it almost impossible for you to enter because EED is hard to secure. Now moving forward, let's talk about airlines advisory. Guys, this is a warning. This is a warning from Philippine Airlines in Cebu Pacific against fake websites and social media pages offering promotional fares or announcing anniversary gifts. Guys, please be mindful about these websites if it's, if it's not an official website please don't register put your personal info and especially your bank details these bogus websites and pages aim to lure and mislead you and they will request you to give personal info such as bank account details if you receive an email asking for your login details make sure double double triple double check the domain of that email and that's the same thing with One Health Pass. You only register with onehealthpass.com.ph. That is the only official website. The Philippines COVID-19 situation is really Im improving. In fact, Manila mayors came into agreement that the Manila, Metro Manila should be under alert level one. That is the most relaxed alert level system in the country. Hopefully that the IETF would listen, let more businesses operate. And that is very good news for you guys so that when you come here, you will be allowed to do a lot of things. It would be feel like living with COVID getting back to normal well for kababayans in the u.s in san francisco the consulate general there announced publicly announced today that they will be having a consular outreach mission in washington where you can guys do passport renewal apply for your dual citizenship notarials and civil registration if you have kids who are born in the U.S. and you want them to have Filipino citizenship, maging dual citizen, you can do a report of birth. Or if you got married in the U.S. and you want your marriage to be recognized in the Philippines, kasi kung hindi mo yan report, single ka pa dun. So you can also do report of marriage. Yan. But for this one, guys, you will need a confirmed appointment. Huh? The appointment slots will be available to the public on March 8, 2022. Check their website or their Facebook page by March 8th para makapag-book kayo. So this is all for today, guys. Uh, what everything you need to know about travel to the Philippines. God bless you all and stay safe.